Uh, hi, I'm Kate. Uh, I Kate Nicholson. I work at Beta NYC and run our partnerships and programs. Um, I guess we can just quickly introduce ourselves. Hi, everyone. I'm Zachary Fader. I work at New York City Open Data um, for the Office of Technology and Innovation in city government. All right, well, um, my name is Ariana Holder. I work alongside Zachary at the Office of Technology and Innovation as part of the Open Data team. Um, yeah. And then on the screen we have Gabby, if you want to come off mute quickly. Oh, Gabby Langston um, from Beta NYC, who has um, assisted in uh, putting on Open Data Week as well. Um, can you hear us, Gab? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Can you come off mute and say hello? Yeah, you hello. introduce. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Oh, hi there. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, so cool to see faces. Hi, Zachary. Hi, Ariana. Hi, Kate. Hi. Anya, thank y'all for letting me join you virtually here. Yeah, good evening, and yeah, thanks for being here, especially at this time. I, I know it's been a, a long day, but I hear it's been a great one. My name is Gavi Langston. I'm a civic innovation apprentice at Beta NYC, um, and as part of School of Data this year, I was part of the volunteer management, and I'm so sorry that I can't join you all in person as I'm unfortunately ill um, and in recovery mode, but just want to give Beta NYC a special thank you for letting me join virtually and working with me, especially these past two weeks um, as I've been in, in recovery. I'm truly grateful for you all. And um, I just also want to give a few more thank, thank yous, of course, to our partners at OTI, Zachary, Ariana, the whole whole um, Open Data Week team for your support and, and, and your love. It means the world. And, and also to our partners at Data Through Design, um, who always host this amazing annual art exhibition. Um, and we all, we, all of our organizations come together every year to host this great week. Um, and this is as closing out Open Data Week here at School of Data. So it's it's really amazing to be with you all. Um, and I think it goes without saying that I also want to give our volunteers a special thank you. And this year we had over 50 volunteers um, who poured their hearts out in making sure that everything um, operated smoothly. And you know, without you, we wouldn't be able to create memorable experiences for everyone. So to our volunteers, thank you so much. I also want to give a special shout out to Z, um, who was really helpful um, with me making decisions, and to Kate, um, who was like really supportive. So thank you all so much. Um, and then lastly, to our event organizers, um, to be frank, you know, we wouldn't have a conference without you. It, it was such a pleasure, um, you know, dipping in occasionally throughout the day today at various sessions and just to hear about the incredible work you're doing. It's it's truly a privilege to be among you and, and, and so grateful for all the hard work you've done. And it's just something that stuck out to me in the various sessions today was transparency leveraging transparency in the fight for open data and using data for action, you know, not simply just pointing out, you know, you know and issues or concerns we have, but leveraging data in a way that can make policy change. And the work that you all have been doing is so inspirational. So thank you so much. And I'm going to hand it off to Zachary. Yeah. Thank you for having me all. Yeah, good, good to see you, Gabby, um, and, and hope to see you back in, in person soon. But um, really appreciate the, the collaboration that makes Open Data Week possible here. Um, I don't know how many people know, today is, again, not just the, or now, is not just the conclusion of School of Data, but also of, of Open Data Week. And um, Noel mentioned in the beginning that we have, I think, 60 different events this year. Um, but we are, um, th this Gabby, Ariana, Kate and I are the core organizing team for that, that week. We definitely got a lot of help from our colleagues um, at OTI and at Beta NYC. But um, the lot of work that went into that, really appreciate all of you for, for making that possible. Um, I think, I think we'll probably all take, take a little bit of time away from Open Data Week for a bit, but also with that, I believe we started planning for this year's Open Data Week probably in April um, of basically right after the conclusion of 
Open Data Week and, and School of Data 2022. So um, we will certainly be thinking about Open Data and an Open Data Week in, in the coming, not too far off from now. Um, I guess one of the questions that I've been hearing today is just people really appreciating this opportunity to come together to share with each other. And um, I know there's been throughout the day um, opportunities and, and ideas for how you might continue to stay involved. So I think something that comes to mind, and you may have heard about this before, but I'm going to use this tomorrow for, for a shameless plug. <laughs> that if you want to share open data with other people, if you want to help us spread the value of this information, um, apply to be an open data ambassador. We have our applications open now. Um, you can work with our team and work with the Beta NYC team, get certified to teach open data, and then share this, this resource with other people in New York City. Um, I don't know if we have the website up, but it's nyc.gov slash teach open data don't have it in the slides. But. Well, it's pretty easy to remember. Do you want to then talk about the help desk? That well, I, I was going to say, I don't, so something else that we always appreciate people doing, because as you've heard all day, we have lots and lots of data sets. We try to keep tabs on all of them, but we don't always necessarily. Um, and one service that we do have is the city's open data help desk. So Ariane, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, sure. So uh, if you go to nyc.gov slash ask open data, you can uh, fill out a form to ask us pretty much any question you have about data that's on the portal or data you'd like to see. Um, and what we try to do is um, if we can't answer that question directly ourselves, we'll delegate to somebody at um, either on our team or from the agency that um, owns that data to uh, get an answer back to you. We try to answer um, as, as quickly as possible, but um, you sometimes it takes a bit longer, depending on what it is you're asking, but um, yeah. And you could also use this if you don't see the data set you want. You could actually use this to request a data set too. But Ariana is one of the people that is, is crucial for managing that service. So thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, just to close out a little bit more, um, They've all said basically what I'm going to share a bit more with you about, but um, Open Data Week's a big collaboration. Um, it's Data Through Design, it's New York City, oh, uh, sorry, School of Data, it's a bunch of virtual sessions um, and also some in-person sessions. Um, I did a quick roundup and between School of Data and Open Data Week, there were 188 people who organized events, like either they were part of, multiple people part of one event or a session, 95 organizations involved, um, 87 events and or sessions. I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? We're a collaboration, like I said. Um, we like to uh, illustrate that this way. I won't say that again, because um, we want to get out of here. But um, we're 188 people, um, so there were probably a lot of organizers in the room. Um, we really, really appreciate the work that you've put into this. Um, 95 organizations, and there were 87 events or sessions that took place in the past week alone. Um, and then this sort of not clean data, because multiple people have attended multiple events. Um, but just the, route, the tally of people that attended events, um, the, the pure attendee uh, number is uh, nearly 5,500 people that attended this past week. So that's pretty exciting to us. And um, I think that something that it just points to for me is that this community and this idea of like data and people being interested in using data for purposes that are um, uh, beneficial for the communities and building tools and advocating with it and using it as evidence to improve their community is really building and it's really awesome to see. Um, and I hope, my hope for everyone today and beyond Open Data Week is that you find a way to bring open data into your life, whether it's a community organization, building a tool, um, asking about a data set at the help desk, they're really friendly. It's Ariana behind the, behind the scenes there. Um, learning about open street maps, um, learning about tools like spatial equity or New York City equity and using them to advocate even if you don't know about data. Uh, and if you, if you don't know how to like build the tools, you can still use the tools. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my uh, excitement about this all. But um, 
quickly, before we leave, I just want to say thank you to CUNY School of Law, thank you supporters, thank you volunteers, thank you participants, and thank you Beta NYC, thank you New York City Open Data, and thank you organizers. Um, now, I want everyone to have a great weekend, um, but before we go out into the other room, uh, there's two ways you can stay in touch. Um, I put that link that Ariana mentioned um, at the bottom of this, it's nyc.gov slash askopendata. And you can also stay in touch with Beta NYC at beta.nyc slash links. And there's a few different ways you can um, stay in touch with us, uh, use our help desk, um, learn about our fellowship, um, and uh, yeah, so stay in touch and without, um, that's sort of it, but I wanna ask if anyone has any questions or announcements that they would like to share with everyone else since you have a bunch of people in the room. Yes. I just wanna say this was an awesome, awesome day for me. I've never um, came to or have come here to the open data and I see it at work, you know, my boss, he puts it out, but I just couldn't make it. But this was great. And one thing I found out I realized, uh, you know, I met some interns, you know, I mean, excuse me, I guess one is a fellow or whatever, you know, I don't know. But I met some people who wanted to like intern or intern, like for summer intern. And I was like, and then I realized some of them don't know about the city, you know, that the city has internships, summer interns, you can come on and, you know, go on, I, I forget the site right now, but <laughs> just Google and you just look at the different agencies that have openings and you just go and put your resume up and so forth. So take a look at what the city is offering, okay? And continue to move, continue to excel, and just do what you gotta do, okay? So and that's all, and I just wanna thank you all for just bringing me on as a volunteer. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you. The city is always hiring, and you all should go work for the city um, and make it better. <laughs> and I can't believe I forgot this, but we are also looking for interns specifically for our office at Data Analytics and the Open Data Team. So, nyc.gov slash OTI. And, um, so, uh, we you'd love to use this session to hear very specific feedback from you on how to improve Open Data Week and how we can improve School of Data. So if you have 10 minutes and you want to kind of tell us some things that you liked, didn't like, opportunities, let us know right now. We are all ears, as don't the have to, say. Like, we don't want this to be like a, yeah. this was great only. We really appreciated that comment. It was really great. But <laughs> like you were also like, you had great actionable insight and things to share. Um, so do make it actionable if you have Yeah, and you can also find us later. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to moderate some things here. So I'm going to do the, the red-headed individual with the black mask. Yeah. Um, I am just curious. We learned about so many different data platforms today. Is there a place, like a landing page, where they all exist um, or is there any interaction between all the different platforms that are expressing data? Data platforms or data sets? Data platforms. Data platforms like the spatial equity and mapping data from HPD. Because I know the data set is the NYC open data, and that's where all of it is pulled from. But then there are all these platforms that are like explaining and mapping the data. So um, I could start talking about this. One, if you're looking for city maps and resources. If you go to nyc.gov slash maps, you can see all the city produced ones there. But also, and we need a snazzier URL here, um, it's nyc.gov slash open data slash projects. We're looking to share more and more of these tools that people create with open data. And something we'll be working on is making more direct connections between the underlying data sets and those tools. But definitely one of the things we're going to do after this is comb through all the different events that happened and see what tools we can proactively reach out to or what creators of tools we could reach out to. Um, but we, we take submissions. Um, so if you go to that nyc.gov slash open data slash projects and you're doing something cool with open data, share it with us. Um, we'd love to talk more, love to share it with other people. But, and thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, that's helpful. 
Oh, uh, I just wanted to add, this isn't um, something that the city does, but I have seen other, um, like if you look up the, I think it's the Open Knowledge Foundation, and also there's sites like um, data.world, I think, where it's a lot of stuff compiled together, not just from one location. Um, there's another one, but I'm blanking on it. Um, but yeah, ask the help desk maybe, and I'll be able to answer when I remember. Ask the help desk. <laughs> we'll make sure that the, that the projects that were featured today that use open data do end up on the city's open data website. That's been a longstanding desire in general between Beta NYC and OTI. And um, just to add to that, I would also look up, like, if you have a specific issue that you're looking for. I know, like, Housing Data Coalition um, produces tools. Um, you might search tools or search, like, data coalitions by issues um, to find, like, aggregated um, tools. I'm going to go to the little participant because we don't we don't have many little participant feedback. So how was your day? It was good. I really liked the presentation. So I would um, really enjoy if you um, shared a little more of the presentation, like tell us what it's about and like all of that stuff. Great. We can work on that. We'll try to get some coloring books next time as well. We had some sanitation coloring books, but I'm not sure if they made it out to, to the younger participants. Jazzy, weren't we going to make a data, an open data coloring book or something? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. That's cool. coming soon. Oh, we can, looking we, for funders. We can do this as a challenge for next year <laughs> to make sure that there's more content. I'm going to go here. Yes. Do you want to hit speak on the... No. There you are. So we went to a lot of things talking about kind of inequity and how people are disproportionately impacted. And I wonder what outreach there is in having folks from these communities. Like there was a lot about housing, right? And we're talking about NYCHA. And so what the outreach is in having folks in these spaces, right? We're here trying to solve, like we're trying to solve for all these different issues and um, being able to have those folks that are like really impacted in these spaces. So I don't know what the outreach is. A friend shared it to me. She comes from the tech space. Um, I don't. And so happened to share it with me and I was able uh, able to join. Uh, so I just, I wonder about it. I don't need a direct answer, but just thinking about how do we make sure that those advocacy groups or those community-based organizations that are working with these, uh, these groups are thinking about impact are being able to kind of come into these spaces and think about like, this would be a helpful tool or I don't see myself represented or what what does that look like? Um, so yeah. So it's one of the challenges that I know Beta NYC focuses on. It's why we create kind of like a broad range of data literacy and uh, programs. The, our Open Data Ambassadors program this past year worked with city council members that was trying to open up kind of the conversation around open data, specifically with council members and people who are really passionate about data and information. We're always looking for new avenues to, to engage with that. Our open data kind of like mapping the public realm is another way for people to have a different type of relationship with open data. So it is it is a everything and above kind of situation. We, we don't just want to speak to the technology community or the data community or the like d design community. We're trying to go beyond all of those spaces with all of the relationships that we have with city government and all of you. So, and all the advocacy organizations, but it's a great point. Z uh, Zachary, Ariana, do you have anything you want to add to that? I would just reiterate what Noel was saying about the Open Data Ambassadors, that if we really are looking to continue recruiting and have more ambassadors talking to people in more communities about this resource, um, because really it's only open if it's actually accessible to people and if people actually know about it. And for community groups, I would say there are like labs that take requests. Um, I know we have one um, called Radar which takes requests from people who aren't familiar with how to like use data to advocate or use data to make analyses. Um, and we sort of walk, that, walk you through that. Um, Z, I don't know if he's in the room. He might be, oh, Z and Eric there. Eric is in the room. Um, they work together with um, other associates to um, learn how to do it and uh, actually do it, uh, work on requests from people. I see two hands up. How many other hand questions do we got? I'm just gonna scan the room real quickly. I'm just trying to be mindful of time. So we're gonna do the red cap and then the green sweater. 
Uh, I just want to put a plug in for, uh, I know it's uh, open data week, but it's already a little longer than a week. And if you guys could get data through design exhibits to last even longer, those things are amazing. They're such a great outreach tool to show people the creativity of using data. I would just promote that if I could. What's the ideal amount of time? I'd say like a month. I mean, a lot of exhibits are off in a month. And like a week is just kind of a flash in the pan, especially if you're involved in a lot of the other things that are going on that week. So. I empathize with that statement completely. It has been so hard to go to the data through design. All right, to the green sweater in the back. Did you, did you wanna ask the question? Nope, yeah. Okay, all right, great. All right, one, one last, well, oh my goodness, we got two right here, right back to back. So, uh, blue mask, yes. Um, yeah, uh, this is more feedback for data week overall. I noticed, I, I attended a few talks and I noticed that some of them were recorded, but it's not clear where those recordings are going. It would be nice both for people who attend and want to review the recording or for people who didn't have a chance to attend some of the talks to be able to go to one place and like view the recordings. Those recordings are gonna be up on open-data.nyc. It's gonna take us a little bit because the guy who's gonna process the videos is right behind you. So he does it. Communicate that better. Yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, if you're part of a civic organization and you want some really great AV production, the Internet Society and Jolly and Pam are your go-to organizations. They do it very affordably um, and they do such a great job. Um, the question to, oh, Goodness, you're clustering me now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the black mask and the glasses, and then the front and the back row. Sure. Thank you so much for everything. Um, perhaps just the feedback would be if there's opportunities to continue this momentum. This week is just amazing, and I wonder if there could be a portal to get updates on any of these projects that you're interested in. You know, I know Beta NYC has an awesome newsletter, but if people had the opportunity to stay in tune on on some of these projects throughout the year. Well, like stay in touch with organizers and the sessions. Yeah. All right, uh, the city also has a newsletter, but it's a great point. We're gonna, we'll put that for our review. All right, final question, comment from the back row. Thank you again for everything that you've put on this, this entire week has been fantastic. Um, I'm going to echo what the gentleman over here said about the data by design. The art exhibit was fantastic. Uh, just a suggestion, but if it could be a movable exhibit, maybe civic organizations, other host places, it could be movable and you might have a lot of partners who would be willing to host that and it could travel around and be a bit more permanent. I I want to plug, if you know of some venues, we are looking, starting now, to help out our colleagues over at the Data Through Design Collective to find that space for next year, because it's actually more challenging than you think, um, I think, for some reason. So looking for venues, um, and month-long venues sound great, um, or a traveling one is a great idea. Um, I will also add that tomorrow is the last day to check out the Data Through Design exhibit. Um, and it's open from 12 to seven and there's artist talks in the afternoon, maybe three, right. something like that. Um, haven't been looking at the schedule in the past day, but yes, um, three and uh, you all should check it out. Um, all right, back, back to the three of you and to close it all out, final words. Thank you. Let's go yeah. have a beer or a seltzer. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.